before this video starts, I have to say this is part two of World Intro. If you haven't seen part one of World Intro, I would skip this video. I would not look at it and watch part one and then watch this one. It would just give more about this world. I hope you guys stay through this video. It's only about nine, ten minutes long. Uh, peace out, guys, and see you in the guys, next video. Nucleus Gaming, and uh, this is part two of World Intro. Today we're gonna be showing the Jungle Castle. Am I right? Yeah, you are. Okay, so this is the Jungle Castle. You, the other video, you guys saw the regular castle. This is a this is another castle. Anyone can have this castle. We haven't really done anything with this castle yet. But yeah, you want to show it around? Yeah, it's not yet complete, guys. I'm still working on it right now. It's um, a work in progress. Yeah. Um, you can see it. Uh, things haven't been set up. You know, no one's living in here yet. Um, my friend said that he actually wanted to live in here. Um, but yeah, it's just we're working on it right now. Did it take a lot of jungle wood to make? Yeah, it did. It took actually a lot. We actually had to replant trees and like, um, yeah, you can see we don't have a very big jungle forest. Uh, well, yeah. How long did it take you to clear out everything, or was it just flat? Well, actually, it took several people. It took me, my friend Brandon, and Cartman that we had to go and pretty much clear out a lot of the jungle trees, and then we ran out, so we had to replant a lot of the trees and just, like, keep on keep on doing the process of, uh, have you um, been working on something else in this map lately? Oh, there's a, a lot of projects that we've done on this map because we just fall. We just fell in love with this map because uh, the we built this huge castle and we wanted to increase the amount of stuff in the place. Um, like we have the jungle castle, we have the regular castle that you guys saw, the stone. And then we have this castle, looks like a manor, sort of. It's, um, the top is not yet done. We have a lot of things that we've been working on. we built a lot of things, but they haven't been finished yet. Like this house, or we still are doing stuff in the castle, the main castle. This world is su such a giant world. Even if we were on a PC world, like infinite world, we could do way much more, but because of PlayStation content for Minecraft, there's a limit for how many, um, how far you can go, so, yeah, like, we're trying to make the most of what the room we have. Yeah, this is, uh, there's a lot of projects that we have done, we have, um, a pyramid that we can show you guys. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back and yeah. So guys, this is the pyramid. A lot of people thought that we did this pyramid on creative, but it actually took lots of work. It took a lot of work to clear out everything, and it's such a big pyramid that I don't know. We, you'll see what we put it into. It was a plain pyramid, and you'll see what we put it to use for. You want to say anything about this pyramid? Yeah, like. This pyramid was a pain in the ass making it because uh, we first had to find the location where we wanted the pyramid to be, and we had then had we uh, we had to clear out the entire area and make it a smooth surface, and then we had to take that sand that we gathered and make the uh, sandstone blocks to create this huge pyramid, and it was done by three people, and yep. we. It took us more time clearing it than we did building it. So, as you guys can see, inside, um, you guys might not know what this is, but it's actually a PvP arena, player versus player. And I've actually won against um, Joseph's friend, and I've won against Joseph here. In the middle, there's a, a um, there's some lava, and there's one person or maybe a team on each side, and you battle. We pretty much have this, so if you get in a fight with someone, you can let out your anger here. And yeah, we really didn't have anything to do with this um, pyramid. And I thought of why not just put the PvP use. And if you want to watch, you can just go up here. That's the um, spectating room. 
yeah, it's a very big um, pyramid. How long did it take you to do the inside? Uh, about, well, the inside is probably about uh, an hour. Yeah. Especially with three people. How long did the um, pyramid actually have to take? Uh, about, well, we actually did it in about a day and a half. Mm. Because it was so time consuming. So, um, if you look to the right, why is there so many explosions? Uh, well, that's not really explosions. It was like, well, actually, most of it kind of was by creepers. It was actually a little hidey uh, hole place that we actually had to sleep in for a little bit. I'm mm. not, I think it's somewhere in there um, that we actually kept our stuff in. Oh, wait. This looks like it, but, uh, yeah, we had to hide out here, um, here it is, it's kind of blown up, but, uh, um, yeah, we had to use this entire area as, um, resources to get sand, and then we had creepers blown up, because we, you know, we were still in survival, and we didn't have host options, so, yeah, it just didn't look, I don't know, it doesn't look as good on this side than it does the other so yeah, there's the pyramid, guys. Very big. And now, um, let's just, you want to show them a glimpse of the sugarcane farm for a second? So that's yeah. the sugarcane farm, um, just where we get our sugarcane. Now, you want to show them the uh, villager? Yeah, let's show So, I will explain how this works. Um, we kind of made a barrier or a wall, so no zombies or at least so much uh, mobs won't come in and kill the villagers. And we've upgraded the houses a little bit. And as you can see, that big house right there. And what we did over there is, um, there, you want to go to the place for the doors and stuff. So how this works, there's a lot of villagers here. And there's some doors. And the doors make the villagers mate when they keep on opening. It's kind of weird. And then there's these iron goblins. Um, they spawn because more villagers there are more iron goblins there are because they're pretty much the protectors of the villagers so what gave you the idea to build this um well we just a uh, side project well it wasn't a side project the wall was a side project to uh, protect the villagers because it was the only village in the entire map so we had to make sure that we you know, that the villagers wouldn't die, so... Then we built this to create more villagers, and... Um, yeah, we just... We need more villagers to trade with, and we needed uh, more resources, and they give resources like diamonds, you know, food, emeralds, everything that we possibly need to create this map make this map so much better than it was. Then over here is uh, just a house over here. Um, we won't go in it because we're about to end off this video. This is part two of the world intro. This is the end of the world intro. You'll see more of this world in our gameplays. Uh, you'll see a new uh, season where we do a survival um, world and we survive and yeah and then pretty much record our progress from that world and actually show you how we do all this stuff. So thank you guys for listening in on the world intro. If you guys haven't watched world intro part one, I would recommend watching that because it fills in more what's in the world. I hope you guys like the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and we do daily videos. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, last question, I mean comment, <laughs> we are doing uh, not just Minecraft, we do different games like Battlefield, Minecraft, like as you guys can see, um, Call of Duty, Star Wars games, and more video more games. If you guys do see this video and want us to play a other game that you guys like, just put it down in the comments and we'll try to do some gameplays of that video game. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.
and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.